All righty, here we go. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices. With locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. Here we go. Small craft advisory is in effect until 7 p.m. for you Tuesday. The last of our system is starting to move out of here. Still rotating across parts of the Atlantic Ocean at this point. We had a little bit of snow that did develop last night early this morning, mainly just a few flurries, but even that is starting to taper off. So that will equal some sunshine in the way for us later this afternoon. Let's zoom things out. This is that system right there that we're watching us rotating away. We have high pressure right about in here. This will help us out to kind of keep us calm for a little bit, although we will have some clouds later tonight. But more activity off toward the west. Here's that cold front right here, tracking off towards the east. And this thing right here, that's going to be the next winter storm that's going to be causing some issues across the part of the country and some decent rain and wind on the way for us soon. Future cast in the short term, looking pretty good with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. We'll watch for more clouds later on tonight, but then by tomorrow, look what happens. We get the clouds out of here for a while, but still overall, the general idea would be a mixture of clouds and sun as things kind of start to move again as the next system starts to get close to us. But not much precipitation with it at all. We'll just have the clouds moving in, at least as we head towards Thursday morning. In the longer term, here we go. That next winter storm starts to get going with a lot of issues across a good part of the Northeast. It starts out as a wintry mix as we head towards Friday morning but switching over to all rain. So it's not going to be a lot of winter going on with this. It'll be kind of a wintry mix switching over to all rain and gusty winds up to 50, maybe 60 miles per hour at times with a stacked pressure gradient here. So travel will be a nightmare at times though with the system developing. We'll get this out of here as we head towards parts of Saturday, which is Christmas Eve by the way, but still a few snow showers and gusty snow showers at that are possible as we head towards you Saturday. Gusty winds in the short term up to 20 to 25 miles per hour this afternoon, backing off later this evening and really going calm later on tonight, so the gusty winds will be in the short term, but this will be kind of the calm before the storm before that strong system moves in later on this week. Wave highs are still up at around 2 to 14 feet, according to some of the buoys. Our small craft advisory will be dropping later on this evening. Your forecast for today, middle 30s, partly cloudy and breezy. The north wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour. Later on tonight, upper teens becoming partly cloudy. The north wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, middle 30s, partly cloudy, with the wind overall looking nice and calm. Scott's Recreation extended forecast. So here we go. We're dry on Wednesday with temperatures in the mid 30s, partly cloudy. More clouds Thursday, mostly cloudy highs in the mid 30s. Our winter mix changing over to rain will happen on Friday. That high temperature is not a typo. That will actually be in the lower 50s, but then we'll fall into the upper 20s on Saturday with rain and snow showers yet again.